All right, so this is Partner Chase the Sun, um, also known as Over and Under, Split Time Time Interaction. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's not as hard as you might think, especially if you know your three beat weaves, forwards and backwards with a partner. And we're again going to start with just the arms. But before the arms, we're going to look at the feet. Because as soon as we get into partner work, of course, we have uh, partner stepping. Pretty simple idea, though. We, we start, we face each other. So our feet are facing, uh, you know, toes facing toes. And we're both going to step away. I'm going to step this way, you step this way. But boom. Right? So we both step the right foot back, or we could step our left foot back. So it's always step in and away, in and away. Just be careful not to fall in your river. Um, you want to be careful if you have a, a if you're doing this on the edge of a deck. Right? Awesome. So once you feel like you've got this, you want a rhythm. You want rock and step, rock and step, rock and step, rock and step. Awesome. So make sure you get a bit of that going. And then you do some exercises with the arms. And at first, don't worry about the feet. Just to make sure you get a rhythm with the arms, where we come back to what we showed in the other video. One, two, three. And on four, I reach over, he reaches under. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there we go to, um, next is going to be one, one and cross, one and cross, one and cross, one and cross. And then we just cross and cross, cross and cross. He's, I'm reaching the point to the ground, he's reaching over to point up. He points up, I point down, etc. With a piece of cake. Then you combine them, and the trick is it's almost the same. If you go in forwards, you'll come out backwards. Don't worry, you'll be, it'll just work. Say I'm starting forwards, and now we're getting ready to add the stepping. I'm gonna go over his shoulders, he goes under my arms. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going backwards, he's going forwards. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So for me, it's just what I did before. So I'm just reach two, three, I just reach over his shoulders, but I'm turning, and then I pull out to go backwards, just like you did when you weren't stepping. Once, uh, once you can do it in one, two, three, four, you do it, um, one and go and one and go. So one and go, one and go, one and go, one and go. And then you just, you're going to go into go and go. Go and go and go and go. You reach under reach, over reach, under reach, over reach. And notice we're just rocking now. So we're trying to get from I'm looking forwards, looking backwards, looking forwards, looking backwards. We're still got a turn happening. And again, don't worry, it'll, it'll, it'll come. Awesome. Then, once all that's working, you can add... Add poi. You get to about the same... About the same length. And go through basically the same steps, where in the beginning you're just... Uh, you're just practicing over and under. So I'll, I'm going forward, so I'll start over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it's one and go, and one and go, and one and go, one and go. And then it's just go and go, and go, and go, go. So that's uh, no problem. And then you add the stepping, and so actually I'll start forwards in this one. And again, basically it's the same thing, 
but our feet are ready now for the pass, right? So we start here, so we're ready to pass each other with a step. And again, I start forwards, I finish backwards, I just go over his shoulders, and it goes one, two, three, over, and now I'm backwards. Then it's one, two, three, and I go under, and now I'm forwards again. Vice versa for him. So at first you do that on fours, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go to two. One and two, 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 one and two. And then we're gonna go in and we're just gonna stay with our feet facing and we're just gonna rock. One, two, three, okay, on four. One, two, three, four, and under and over and under and over. And this is the one that will take a few tries. The trick, if you look at what I'm doing, I'm trying to go from forwards to backwards to forwards to backwards to forwards to backwards. So forwards is, is always in this direction. Backwards is always in this direction. A baby step here is if Carson puts his poi down and you can just take turns practicing each, each part. So again, the feet are lined up to get ready. He just sticks his arms to the sides even more. And I'm just gonna practice going over and under his arms. So we're gonna to turn together. One, two, three. I go over his arms. One, two, three. Under his arms. One, two, three. Over. One, two, three. Under. Then I can do it on two. Um, one, two, three. Over, one, and under. And over and under, and then I can just go over and under, one, two, three, four, over and under, over and under. So he's just turning with me, so I can go under his arms, over his arms, under his arms, over his arms, under his arms, over his arms, under his arms, over his arms. And you just each take turns doing that. If you're teaching this, a great thing if you grab your poi, You can, if you're teaching this, you can hold your poi like this, and once you got the person, I mean, Carson already knows how to do this, but let's imagine he doesn't. And so, say I just got him to this point where he's going forwards. Let's inch away from the deck. Inch away from the precipice, okay. So let's say I, we had just gotten to the point where we're just going right into over and under, and we go one, two, three, over and under, over and under. Then I can just let my poi out and come right into the pattern with him. It's a fun way to coach somebody right into the move. Now what you'll notice is if we just look at our arms over on the that side, if we just look at those arms, that's a forwards three beat weave. And this is why we did that first. Because if it's really in your body, you'll find you'll slip right into it. The other, uh, the other arm is doing a backwards three beat weave. Okay, let's prove. Let's, let's come back into it. No, no, other way. One, two, three. If you look at our other arms, they're doing a backwards weave. So, on one side we're doing a forwards weave. On the other side we're doing a backwards weave. That's why the prerequisite for all of this is the weaves forwards and backwards with each side. Um, cool, so uh, give it a try and if you're patient, it will definitely come.